In this video, I want to show you how to address certain sections of an array using a loop in Tasker. So here I have an array that has 1,000 entries, but that's too much to manage at once, so I only want to call certain sections of this array at once. So what I'm going to do in um, the address of my array, the variable is here blist. And so I'm going to take my array and then create another variable that's going to be the number to address in that array. So my array with a thousand entries is blist. And then the blist could be blist1, blist2, blist3 is going to be stored in the variable numby. And then I can go ahead and set numby and then um, I'm going to take the numby concatenated with my array and I'm going to flash that as a new variable just called big test doesn't really matter and so here it flashes and then if I switch numby to a different number it's going to go ahead and flash the next entry in the array now if I need to create a new array as a subsection of the larger array as I'm going to process data piece by piece um, uh, chunk by chunk, I mean, um, I want to do about 10, 20 entries at a time. I can go ahead and continue in this process. So what I need to do here, and let me think for a second. I need to create a... loop. So let me see here, that's how many times this is going to process. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this into a loop. Okay, and let's see. So then I need to go ahead and do a variable add. If I want to travel up, variable add. Okay. And I'm going to do, okay, I need to add to, I need to add to numby. Okay. So if I want to loop this, I don't want to do 50 times, I want to do 20 times. All right. Now this is going to happen 20 times, and then I want to start at... I'm going to start at, let's say, 21 in the array, so um, array index 21, and this should go all the way up to array index 40, maybe 41, and then I need to write big test to a... Actually, I just need to append big test. So this way, it is going to add to big test each time what it pulls from the array. And I'm also going to want to add some type of splitter. So let me go ahead and make some type of character that would not naturally appear in the text. So that's going to be my splitter. Now, if I run this, I should get a subsection of my 1,000 entry array. And I should get a 20 entry chunk from 21 to 41. Hopefully this works, fingers crossed, and I'm going to go and start it. Okay, so I did fail. Um, it's all flashing the same image, so let me see. Why did I fail? Numby add. Interesting. Uh, did I type it right? Numby, numby. Okay, variable flash. Oh, no, I, I don't think I failed, actually. Um, I now have to go and the variable so um shoot I know it worked but I don't want to um okay that's not gonna work too well 
I need to get to Numbi. Alright. I just... I'm doing this on my personal phone, so I have to uh, be a little bit careful about what I... Let's see... Um... What am I... Uh, title... Uh, should be in. Numbi. Oh, it's actually at B. Okay. It's that big list, right? A, B. Right at the top here. It was rather useless, but this, this does work. So, I mean... If nothing else, hopefully this helps. I know it's a little bit drawn out, but I get tired of searching for things that aren't easily found. So if you want to make a concise, more concise version of this, great, go for it. Um, okay. To go down to B list, I want to go down to big list, so a thousand more. Uh, and I can't pause, unfortunately. I'll have to switch my video recorder next time. I just started making videos again. Let's see, because I can use a uh, Beely Beely, and let's see, um, Zainar, 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 ah, Tamada, okay, here we are, so, uh, should be, why is it not here, let's type in, I guess, big, okay, big test, all right, so if we go up here, okay, so, okay, yeah, so I know Firecracker should be about number 20, and then I go down, and it failed. Every single one is Firecracker. So let me go ahead and eliminate this. Okay, I need to go ahead and clear this variable, and look for my error. Because it, it just kept writing the same one over and over again. So, it's going to be here. Oh, of course. I put my variable set inside of the loop. Protect your brains at all cost. Okay, protect, protect your brain at all cost. Okay, um... Otherwise you'll have a lifetime of regret. Let's see. Going up here... Uh, let's see, so I have firecracker, firecracker, okay, it failed again, the question is why, it should have worked that time. Let me go back, run this again, get run one. Alright, back to my variables. So I have firecracker, firecracker, firecracker. So I do have a bug somewhere. And let me go back. All right. So. Instead of flushing big test, I'm gonna flush numby to make sure that that's changing. So there's the problem. Numbi isn't changing even though it should. Because I did the lazy way. Instead of going to go to action, the better way to do this is go to label. Much better way to do this because you see I went to action 2 and I destroyed my... Uh, it just adds confusion. So if I do this, now the code will work. You can see finally Numbi is actually increasing. 
Now, the flash is delayed, but that's no problem. It's just an indicator of what's actually going on. So now if I go to B-list, should be working. It's gonna, this is not gonna work again. It's all gonna be firecracker. Oh, what am I? Uh... Okay, let's try this again. Figure out why. Still having errors. Okay, need to go to this. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and run this to set my variable. Then I'm gonna go ahead and disable it just so I know that's not possible to get in the way. And then, um, okay. So it does need to be like that, actually. Big test to B list. So now I need to flash actually... Mm, I need to flash this variable. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this just in case. I don't think that's the issue. Let me go ahead and flash this variable. All right, let's see. So apparently that is correct, maybe? So it might be working now. Let me go ahead and check. Okay, so this is good. I have museum. I have glass. Ice cream. Okay, so now now it's working. You can see that I have different entry keys. Also with my splitter here, my double at sign splitter. Um, and the entry keys are all different, so that's good out of my thousand entry key. So it looks like my air possibly could have been directly following um, this numby loop with uh, some type of symbol. Um, I'm not positive, but as you can see, the code does work. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, I will leave them. I'll go ahead and leave them below, and I will respond. And I think I'll try to put. Uh, if this video gets over a thousand views, I'll try to put uh, this task in the description, so you can just import it and work off that if you want. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.